I'm going to say after investigation that this is a family. And this is the baby girl, the little infant. This is the mother. This is going to be the little baby boy. And that's the father. Probably they were taken by smallpox and died in the same period of time. And so you'll catch me as I identify the little baby girl first and when I come up on her grave, those rods will come together and they'll stay together until I cross the baby and the mother. And then before I get to the little boy, they come apart. So that establishes the mother and the baby girl, probably an infant. This identifies the little boy. And these rods will stay together until I cross the father, and then they will come apart. And to determine and prove the point through investigation, this has to be the father. And this grave is probably about five and a half feet long. But this little infant boy is going to be a baby. This little baby is going to be about less than two feet long, probably 18 inches long. And then to prove that this is the daddy, the rod in my left, let's start over here. To prove this is the little baby girl, the infant, the rod in my left hand will go to the head. On all females, the rod will go to the head, and it'll stay at the head until I cross the mother, and then it'll come back to the front. Okay, then we'll get into the little boy and, and the daddy, who are males. And when I step up, this rod is going to the foot of the little baby boy. On every male, that rod will go to the foot, and it'll stay there until I've crossed the grave of, of both baby and father. And then they come apart. So this has to be the father. This has to be the little baby boy. This has to be the mother. And this has to be the end of the baby. This has to be a family, probably taken by smallpox. And this is so typical throughout this entire cemetery.